Hello and welcome one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados. And in our previous tutorial, what we took a look at was how to create an Instagram reel with uh, the stacking of the video. So having three videos stacked one on top of another, we're going to use Python to automate the process of creating these reels. And so we're just gonna select clips and then run Python. And Python is gonna replace those clips with the new clips and then allow us to shortcut our process so that we can flood the Instagrams with, um, with, <laughs> with videos of this type. <laughs> I am in DaVinci Resolve 18 and uh, this works with anything above 16, I believe. So first thing, I'm going to open a terminal and if you have any questions about how to start uh, the process of scripting with DaVinci Resolve on Python, I have a video where we cover the basics of that for beginners. So uh, I'll put the video in the description below so that you can check that out. The first thing we're going to do is create a foundation and uh, and then uh, import that foundation. Again, something that we have done in videos before. So you can check that out. The basics of it is that we are importing a timeline, a media pool, things of that nature, uh, so that we don't have to also create those things every time that we create a new Python uh, script uh, that we're gonna use. So I'm just, uh, importing a library that I created, very simple. And again, like there's a video in the channel that goes into the specifics of creating a foundation file so that you don't have to do it. Second uh, part is I am importing that as CD and then uh, using the method of CD and the property timeline, I'm sorry, using the object CD and the property timeline to create a timeline and then the CD media pool to create a media pool. So that's our first step. What I'm doing is calling the media pool and then calling a method called get root folder. So I'm going to go to the documentation and uh, again, you can uh, purchase this documentation. It's super inexpensive. I think it's like uh, $9 right now in alexacreative.com. And basically what we can do with this documentation that you can't do with the original documentation in um, DaVinci Resolve is that we can type things and filter the methods so that we don't have to, you know, memorize or search through the text document, which is very cumbersome. So get root, get root folder. So uh, it tells me that it's a media pool method and so I can click on it and it tells me exactly what it's going to return. So if I'm looking for the root folder of the media pool, then I can just call this method. All right. So that's what we're doing here. We're basically getting the root folder of the media pool. And then what we're going to do is get a clip list of, uh, of uh, what we have in that media pool. So now let's go ahead and do four clip in CL. And then here, let's just print whatever brings back or whatever comes back from that, just to see what it has. I'm going to save and run this. So Python three, and I named it I one dot pi. So let's see what it says. All right. So it returned each one of the items that I have in the media pool but uh, it just basically gave me all the information, all the objects themselves. And what I'm more interested in is knowing which one is which one. So what I need is to get the name of those clips. So what I would do is just go to my documentation, type something like get name. And sure enough, like the media pool items have a method called get name. So let's try to do that. So clip dot get name. Uh, uppercase get name and let's run it to see what happens. Awesome. So now I get something more significant for me because it actually tells me which one of these objects is which one of the clips. And um, even though I could use this for my script, I rather use the ID because the ID is not going to change. So um, Basically, we're going to create a loop 
And then if it is a particular clip, like the one that I have placed in position number one, number two, or number three, which are these ones, these clips, then uh, go ahead and replace them with the ones that we are providing for the script. So let's take a look. I'm going to call get media ID to see if it returns instead the media ID of each one of those clips. Perfect. So now I have that these are the media IDs of those three first clips. And so what I'm going to do is detect for this IDs and then replace them if it's one of those. All right. So uh, I'm doing the exact same thing. So I'm getting the media ID and then I'm going to go through a process of detecting in this loop if it's this particular clip that I'm going to replace. So if the ID is this, which we know is clip number one, then replace the clip with FL1. And we haven't defined FL, but we'll will in just a moment. Then if it's this one, replace it with FL0. And then if this one, replace it with FL2. Actually, let's do this in order. If this one is zero, one, two, that's perfect. And let's also set up a clip color so that they actually look pretty cool. All right. So what we're going to do is define what FL is going to be. So let's do that now. I'm going to define FL and um, basically I'm taking media storage which I called with CD because I really didn't uh, go through the process of calling it like this, but uh, cd.mediastorage.getFileList and then basically get the first argument that, that we're passing to the script. Um, what does that mean? So if I'm calling my Python script, like let's say Python 3, and then the name of the file is i1py, and then I give it, let's say, users, AC, desktop, and then let's say videos, right? So that's our folder. So this one is considered argument one because this one's argument zero. And then this is the name of like what I'm calling, which is Python. So I'm calling a Python script that is named this. That's our argument number zero. And then this one is our argument number one. In other words, what I'm doing is just basically getting a list of files that are in this location, in this path that I'm giving. So FL is going to be that list of files. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. All right, let's see what it's saying. It's saying, uh, line seven, some sort of error. And basically the error is saying list index out of range. And the reason is because I didn't give it a path to videos. So that's the error that you're going to get if you actually don't pass it any videos to, to, the, to the script. So let me get some videos so that we can pass some videos to the script. I'm going to call it Python 3 I1 Pi, and I'm going to give it the location of a folder that has three clips. And those are the clips that are supposed to be replaced, or those are the clips that need to replace the old clips in our file. So let's run it and see what happens. Awesome. It seems like nothing happened. Let's go ahead and check. And if we go to timeline, then bam, our new clips are in there. Now, another thing to note, which is a really cool thing to note, is that the grade that we did is also in place because the grade was applied to the co compound clip rather than to each one of the individual clips. And if you remember, the reason why we did compound clips was so that when we're replacing, we're not getting rid of all the things that we did, but just like the clips themselves. And so when we apply a grade to the count compound clip, we get to keep our grades intact without having to uh, recreate grades for each one of the clips. So in this case, obviously it doesn't work because I, I have a color transform and the color transform doesn't um, 
translate to this particular footage that I am using here. So if we take a look, for example, here, and I go to the effects, the color transform of the original files is Panasonic V-Gamut and V-Log, but these clips are not in that. So what we need to do is change it to the appropriate one, which this one is D-Gamut, and uh, I believe it's Rec. 709. So there you have it. All right, and that is what we got. So now you could just export it in, save it to your phone and then send it to Instagram. So let's review what we did. First, we bring the foundation so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Then we define FL. Then we grab the root folder of the media pool and we grab the list of clips from there, we're getting the media ID to identify them and to replace them. But before we did that, we got its name so that uh, we can see which one is which one, which one are the ones that we want to replace. We just use the IDs to replace the clips one by one and then give them the nice colors. So uh, we haven't even seen those colors. Let's see if like they actually happen. So I'm gonna go here. And as you can see, this one is orange, this one is green, and this one is purple. I hope that this has been really helpful. It's a combination. It's a, a two uh, video combination or two tutorial combination that allows you not only to take your social media game to the next level, but also do it automatically. And that sounds pretty good. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.